with 50% battery electric cars on the road today in Oslo. Yes, 50% of the cars driving past us right now are pure battery electric. Hello and welcome to another auto spec video. Today we are checking out a Norwegian gas station. What happens to gas stations when 98% of new car sales are battery electric? Not plug-in hybrids, but pure battery electrics. <laughs> Today we are going to take a look at our energy station. It's no longer a gas station. Of course we have some gas pumps over there, we will take a look a little bit later. But the most important part of this energy station is that we have chargers in a location where normally we would have had gas pumps or diesel pumps, which is common, uh, still common on the road in Norway. But we are in Oslo, right, uh, right outside of Oslo, right by the E6. This is right off the road. It is literally five seconds from full highway speed until you are here. No red lights. It's right by one of the most busy highways in the entire country. At the same time, we are in the largest city in Norway. So it's one of the most important stations for taxis, for people traveling through Oslo or people who want amenities like a bathroom or like the Circle K convenience. So under the canopy here we have Kempower units which are awesome. These are brand new units. They follow the newest Kempower standard 800 volt uh, compatible chargers and they are connected to the power cabinets over there. We will take a look at those a little bit later but having these in a place where you would normally have a gas pump makes them very familiar to use. You know how to park. You don't need to back into a spot. You can just come here. You can even have a trailer, a little bit less of a space there, but uh, on the, these other ones, you can have large vehicles. You can have vans. You can even have semi trucks, I think, under here, um, which is fantastic. And you have the roof all the way here so when it's raining you can charge just like you would fill your gas pumps and there are so many chargers at this site there are 32 chargers and we will take a look at those as we move along but here we have the camp power satellites up to 400 kilowatts um, which is uh, fantastic that's of course if you have an 800 volt car if you have uh, a 400 volt car the maximum is i think 200 kilowatts and these camper units have amazing cable management of course so you can park you can just go into the spot here like you would on a gas pump and it doesn't really matter where your charge port location is you have great ca cable management these are i believe dry cables i'm not sure if they are the liquid cool ones anyway 400 kilowatt on an 800 volt car and 200 kilowatt on a 400 volt car uh, because of the 500 amp limitation um, so these are connected to the power cabinets that we will take a look at a little bit later. Those are able to supply up to 600 kilowatts each. If you have two, you have 1.2 megawatts, 1,200 kilowatts, able to be distributed out to all these satellites. So we have one satellite here, one satellite here, and we can move over here because we have two more right here. And these are dedicated units of course they are power shared through the cabinets over there but you still like you have a dedicated port for each one uh, here so one here one here one there and one there what's nice about having this in a location where you have a gas station is that you have everything you need from the convenience store you have window washer fluid largest array of window washer fluid i have ever seen we will walk over there and take a look at some of the amenities a little bit later uh, but let's actually just show a norwegian gas pump because we have one two three four norwegian gas pumps here which is quite a lot for a station i would say these days these days it's normal to see only two gas pumps um, on each location and this is how a Norwegian gas pump look I just want to show that in the video just so you know we have diesel and we have gasoline uh, here so but this video is of course about chargers I just wanted to show you that there are still four gas pumps here because this is such an imp important station and one of uh, the stations with the most amount of gas pumps I would say around this area 
So let's move over to the power cabinets because this is where um, the energy is um, transformed from AC, alternating current, to direct current in these cabinets. And um, oh, we can see the price of gasoline up there. They don't have the price of uh, kilowatt hours uh, for electric cars. This is becoming more and more normal actually with pylons with the kilowatt hour price. It's six nook per kilowatt hour at these chargers. And the gasoline price is around seven dollars a gallon. It's around two euros per liter, something I'm not sure. Uh, I'm not very good at math, but um, it's expensive. At, at least for Americans, it's considered very expensive for gasoline. So you can see that it's cheaper to fill electricity. Here we have two Kempower, I think these are called Kempower power units. So these are 600 kilowatt each. These are of the newest generation version two power modules with silicon carbide. Super efficient 25 kilowatt granularity or charge resolution means that if a car needs 175 kilowatts, they will only reserve the amount, exact amount they need, so 175 kilowatts. On other charge, um, chargers, often you would reserve around 200 kilowatts just to su supply 175 kilowatts to one car. That's the benefit of these 25 kilowatt granularity. And you can uh, connect, I think, eight cam power satellites, and it's now up to 12 to each of these cabinets. And if you have two, you can have, for example, 12 satellites connected to um, these two. So you can take one. 1200 kilowatts and divided by uh, by 12 and you get 100 kilowatts to each satellite at full load that's actually better than version 3 superchargers and having the ability to actually have 800 volt uh, uh, compatibility is also awesome of course you can connect less you can do whatever you want with these which is absolutely fantastic so if you want dedicated high power you can get that out of these uh, as well circle k has not been using Camp Power for very long. I think this is one of the first sites in Norway with Circle K Camp Power units. And it's the first uh, site that I have personally experienced with Camp Power um, uh, units on a Circle K site. And Circle K is one of the largest charge point providers in uh, the Nordic countries. They are building out like crazy and they were very, very early on. And uh, Circle K has been testing a bunch of hardware. I think they've been through every hardware provider. And it's great to see that they now um, try Campower. And I personally absolutely enjoy the Campower units. I have to mention that Campower is also sponsoring this video, which is why I wanted to highlight this site because it's such an important charging site. I've been charging my Tesla here a bunch of times. It is probably one of the most important charging sites in the entire country, right by the E6 and very close to or inside the city borders of Oslo. So let's take a look at the bunch of other chargers that we have here and even more camp power units down there. With 50% battery electric cars on the road today in Oslo, yes, 50% of the cars driving past us right now are pure battery electric, not plug-in hybrids. That's the highest amount in any city in the entire world, to my knowledge, even China. Uh, of course, they are a, a much larger country where it matters much more and stuff like that. But I think percentage-wise, I think Oslo is the EV capital of the world. 50% of the cars on the road today are battery electric. An absolute insane amount. We are here on the least busy time of the least busy day, uh, I think, right now. This site is always packed when I drive past it. So it's got some high utilization especially by taxis. And there is a taxi coming up actually. And a Tesla Model 3 as well. So let's go and take a look at these units right here as well and see if they are any different than the other ones. I think, um, oh, there was uh, recently someone charging it. So here we have still the 400 kilowatt max given 800 volt um, uh, DC, 800 volt um, cars. So we have one, two, three, four more right here, which I assume is connected to the same power cabinets that we can see, uh, that we just saw over there. Uh, here we can see someone <laughs> charging their Zoe to 96%. Let's move over here. 
Here we have something interesting I also want to highlight in this video. Uh, of course, this video is sponsored by Kempower, but Circle K uses a bunch of different charging providers, and these have been there for very long. And I think this is very interesting that we have 150 kilowatt Alpitronic units. N basically, nobody deploys these anymore, so these are a little bit older. Uh, and if we take a look at how thin they are, <laughs> I think they look just so funny. Uh, but they have the screen facing outwards, which is something I do like, actually. So we have one, two, three, four uh, Alpitronic units here. And we, if we move even further over here, we have 300 kilowatt uh, Alpitronic units, which are Hyper 300. Still a little bit old, uh, I would say. Most new Circle K chargers, I think all new Circle K chargers are 400 kilowatts or more. And that includes, again, uh, the camp power chargers that we saw. So if we move over here, we see something interesting. We see another camp power site by Circle K, and I assume it's actually completely separate from the other ones. Let's take a look uh, over here. So these say 320 kilowatts. That's probably uh, some kind of limitations on these, but these are still the new high voltage compatible camp power chargers, which, compa uh, which will charge your Taycan fast, which will charge your eGMP car fast. These are 800 uh, volt um, compatible, up to 320 uh, kilowatts. But we have two smaller cabinets. And just for your information, I didn't ask camp power about information on this site. I just, we were going to our cabin and I just saw that they put in new camp power units. So I had to check it out. So let's actually go and read the labels of these ones. So we have one, two, three, four uh, Circle K uh, camp power satellites, and then one, two, three, four camp power satellites over there. So I assume these ones are connected together, and then the eight satellites are connected to these, or they are separate, one cabinet per four posts. That's also possible. But since these ones look smaller than the 600 kilowatt uh, cabinets that we saw over there, let's actually look at the labels. Okay, so what I think these are, just a wild guess, 400 kilowatt power modules. So we have 400 kilowatt and 400 kilowatt. That means at maximum load, 100 kilowatt per satellite uh, around here. And they have derated the chargers a little bit on the screen, showing 320 kilowatts instead of 400 kilowatts like the other ones. So it's clear here that Circle K tries a, a little bit of a different solution here, but these are very compact. And again, the satellites are so compact being able to be safely placed under the canopy over there. There are so many benefits in having a distributed system like this, especially when it comes to charging queues. This kind of distributed system eliminates charging queues. Of course, Kempower has some super beefy mega satellites, and those are coming up. I'm super excited for that. So stay tuned for that. I want to check out some mega satellite uh, sites as well. That's even more power uh, than these ones are capable of delivering. But the benefit of having this distributed system is that we have 32 chargers around this area. So when taxis come in and they need to charge, everyone can plug in at least. You don't need to wait in a queue not charging. Of course, if the site is full, no, you won't get full power on every car. But I think there is a decent amount of power on this site and a decent amount of power to be delivered to each car. Uh, and it's great to see that uh, we have so many plugs all around this area. And it's great to see 800 volt uh, compatibility now that we have more 800 volt cars than ever and more 800 volt uh, or higher even cars coming next year. From the Circle K over there, you can see the eight satellites that we had at the end there, the Alpitronic units uh, and the canopy in the end there. We are now over at McDonald's, which is just right next to this um, Circle K station. So over there we have 32 plugs, but it doesn't end there. If you're waiting for <laughs> your food at McDonald's, you can see that they are actually numbered so that you can order from the app and get your food delivered out to your car while charging, you can see this uh, recharge site. So they are partnered with McDonald's to build out these ones. And this is of course a little bit older camp power uh, hardware right here. These are 150 kilowatt units, but if you're eating McDonald's, 150 kilowatts seems 
I don't know, it seems plenty. And we also have something interesting that I didn't see over at Circle K merch. We have a Shadomu, which is great if you have a leaf and you want to eat at McDonald's. And I can see that the charge price here is a little bit more expensive, but uh, similarly priced to the Circle K chargers over there. So here you can see an earlier uh, Camp Power site, and these are there are a bunch of these sites around Norway, uh, everywhere actually. Uh, Recharge has really been going in, all in, on uh, getting uh, Camp Power units for um, their charging network. So we have seen a bunch of ch uh, Recharge uh, chargers all over Norway and it's great to see even more chargers over here. There is an eagle pulling up. What you will see in Norway is that a bunch of uh, cars actually pull up and are not uh, wanting to charge because the charging networks are so great and so well built out that not everybody needs to charge at every site. So actually something important as well is parking spaces and here you have a bunch of parking spaces. Let's move uh, back to Circle K and end the video. Uh, here we have a car wash where you can... Actually there are one, two, three, four stalls here. So you can uh, wash your car manually which is amazing because there are so many brushed car washes everywhere and they destroy the paint of your cars. So here you have manual car washes and they are even open in the winter right now. It's so cold outside, so I don't dare to wash my car like this right now, but it's a solution. And it's great to see four, um, four available bays for car wash here at Circle K. Okay, so here is another automatic car wash. You can choose brushless. That's always the case in Norway. You can almost always choose brushless, even though there are brushes there. So yes, it's scary having the brushes move <laughs> along your car, but they're not on if you choose the brushless option. It's called brushless in Norway. So if you're washing your car, um, you can choose brushless car washes. In addition, you have vacuum cleaners right here, which is amazing to see. Uh, so uh, yeah, that's amazing. There is uh, Etron coming up and he most likely doesn't need to charge, which is again very common. He might need to charge, I don't know. Oh yeah, he's pulling up to the 300 kilowatt Alpitronic unit. And here we have some window washer fluid. I think there is enough window washer fluid. Um, this is something that you go through in Norway when driving in the winter. You go through so much of this and that's why I talk about the window washer fluid tank in cars being generally too small. Okay, so that was it for this video showing off how a charging station is in a city with 50% electric cars. There is also a Volkswagen ID4 over there from the Netherlands. So people drive very far to go to Norway for their electric car vacation, which is great to see. So uh, this has been my showcase of this Circle K site, the awesome Camp Power satellites. You can uh, see that someone is park it, uh, parked over there, a taxi, a bunch of taxis everywhere, a bunch of washer fluid, uh, car wash. Uh, great amenities, Circle Ks in Norway are generally very great uh, as places to stop as well. Uh, clean bathrooms, uh, at least on the newer, newer Circle Ks. And um, it's great to see these charging options um, below a canopy because there is so much bad weather in Norway. So it's great to see that at least four charging um, stalls, I would say, are available under a canopy. And with the newest Camp Power hardware, it's just amazing to see. 32 stalls, so no charging queues around here, even at the most busy, uh, busy times. Thank you so much for watching this out-of-spec video. Talk to you later.